We're going to have to see, but we're going live into the first game, guys. Fractured versus Davis are going to be starting us two, off, I think, in round one. of 32 on Lost World. So Davis starting by the yellow armor, but he's going to get straight onto the rocket launcher. It's going to, in fact, cost him getting the yellow, but he gets some good amount of damage in to uh, make it worth his while. Red still up, going to be cutting him off over LG, but he's just huh. getting the resources. Yeah, he didn't even go for that LG, which means that Fractured probably has an LG by now. I think it would have been a good decision to just go by the LG, even if it meant that Fractured would have gotten the, the Wrath. Yeah, I mean, you, you do want that. But it's uh, okay, like an he's going to get the LG now, and he got all the resources, so it's all okay for him. And where is Fractured now? Absolutely no clue. He seems to be making very little noise around the map. Is he waiting around for that? Oh, Davis checking out. Oh, he's on Meg already, but it's a little bit early. Oh. Easy first frag there. Fractured giving himself away a little too soon. Look at this. Davis off the spawn, controlling it nicely, and he's going to be hunting him down again. So weak. And uh, the LB there just to tickle him down yeah, for the second frag. From what I see in QL range, the low Fractured has about 1200 ELO, and Davis has roughly 2k plus. Really? So it will be very hard for Fractured to even get a frag on today. This sounds like this is going to be a really balanced game. Close to. <laughs> Are you sure though, 2k ELO? Uh, yeah, 2k ELO for these. So, I mean, I guess this is going to be a good opportunity for us to um, maybe give some feedback of what he can do, what he can do to change his play or uh, to improve his play. So um, why, why don't we go and have a look at Fractured and see what he's doing. So I'm going to probably be switching over to him a few times, but that, Davis, Davis or Davis, um, possibly understanding maybe the ELO difference will probably be playing more aggressively than usual uh, than he would against maybe someone of his ELO. So uh, we'll, s we'll see how this goes. The Fractured stepping in places that he really can't. He needs to move around the map a little bit more quietly. That was good. I mean, he did some good damage. The if he can jump nice, yeah. again and do that kind of damage, he would probably get something. Mm -hmm. Where is he? See, where is uh, Fractured? Oh, on? Davis is lagging a lot. He's not even going for the red. So Fractured hanging around those bottom areas. This is a good opportunity for him to play on the yellows because now that Davis has um, picked up those major items, he's going to want to play around the other side of the map. But this is good. He's got up to roughly 100, 100. And he, this is what he needs to maybe spam the corridor if he feels that uh, Davis is going to be there. He could try and do some damage. And if he just fired the rockets maybe a couple of seconds earlier, Davis will probably not start Not really earlier. He could have waited a bit second. And if he's not super comfortable to where he's going to shoot the rockets, it's okay to delay the shot. Because mm -hmm. if you delay the shot and you make sure that shot is good, you're going to have such an easy time to fight. Yeah. At the same time, if you're firing spam around the corner, maybe Davis will think, you know what, this guy firing rockets, I don't want to take one to the face or risk losing a frag. Um, maybe I'll go and pick my fight elsewhere. You see, rocket spam is really uh, key to keeping your opponents away from you and just making them think more carefully before they enter a room which you are currently in. But I think eight to negative one. I don't think right now we're going to be seeing a game where comebacks are going to be king and crucial, etc. But this is more education. This is this is learning time here with Zeus. Okay. Tell us about to learn. Well, yeah, he did a ton of his plasma is like his best weapon. I mean, he's got the correct binds, so he's got that part of his game nailed. You need to have the right binds to say, you know, when you know when you die or when you kill someone, where you know you've done a lot of damage. That cipher one is often a very popular bind, and I think his choice that's, there that's is. That's a very fair. You, you need to have the binds down. Yes, and once you've got that down, then you, need, you can get to the the more important stuff. He's killing your opponent. Yes. <laughs> he wasn't bad out. He had the plasma out. Doing damage. Can he actually connect it? Oh, that rocket. He tried to go for the direct rocket. Yeah. Now, time you might want to shoot just at the floor in front of your opponents. Try and bounce them up and make them be more of a passenger in the air. And then you can uh, really predict where your next shots are going to be a lot more accurately. Right, I'm going to move over to Fraction again and see what he's up to. What's he doing? The plasma. He's checked. Oh, he has no chance to be there. Make sure he's a ninja when he's out of control, and that's what he's not doing super correctly. That's the thing, if you're scared that your opponent's gonna be coming around the corner, you need to position yourself a way that uh, there is an exit immediately to your left or behind you or wherever. You need to have the exit completely planned. If you're standing in a part of the room where if they run at you with the lightning guys, like, oh, I can't even move forward. Yeah, that's what you gotta be thinking. When you go somewhere, you need to be thinking, okay, if they come rushing around to me, even if it sounds very stupid that they're gonna rush, if they come, what can I do? And that's why evil wins. Yeah. People have no idea when is he going to rest. They are often not prepared for that. Exactly. Alex at the moment is probably enjoying being able to play aggressively here. In this, uh, kind of 
32, but running out of lighting up ammunition. He hangs around a lot for the plasma. Which really, in these situations, he doesn't even want to be engaging in a fight. He can't even go into center map at the moment. And when you're behind, it doesn't matter if you're behind by um, this many frags or you're behind by 20 frags or whatever. You do not want to be seeing yourself in that center map. Going around the shotgun. Interesting trap. But by this stage in the game, you've got five minutes left. I guess you could fight fire with fire and try and go aggressively yourself. But assuming that the frag lead right now is much slimmer, you want to play on the yellows and outside of the center of the map. You kind of assume that you're not going to get a rocket launcher anytime soon, unless you see your opponent dwindling by the red armor or in you know, the crevices of the map. Oh, I fell to the lava. Uh oh. Oh, no, no. He's not going to fall to the lava. It's going to be okay. And Davis is trying to time it in a nice little time there with the rocket. 15 HP. 15? Oh, that was on uh, Davis's uh, point of view. Let's see though, if he can eat, if he can eat an air rocket onto Davis, I'll be extremely happy. Yeah. So this position he has now, he can't stand right here. If if Davis was to come into the map right now, he would have been completely cornered right there. Now he's coming out for some aggression, and Davis just moves on. What would be really good is if Fracture said, you know what, let's go and get ourselves a 100-200. Let's get the full 200 armor before we make a move onto it. Because his damage isn't actually that bad at all. It's just he picks a lot of his fights when he doesn't have health and armor. Or when he's uh, maybe a predict when Davis has already predicted which way he's coming from. Exactly, when you're playing with opponent, it's much better than you, you should really try to think a little about the game. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you're trying to learn something. Absolutely, but... Just play super defense, it doesn't matter if you're gonna deny your opponent. Yeah, a lot of people don't like playing super defensive because, of course, FPS, you want to go around shooting things lots of the time. And when you're yeah, playing but to you, win, wanna, you wanna go shooting things, you don't wanna get shot. shot. Exactly. But you don't wanna... You if you're playing to win, though, you do anything it takes, and you've got to play a passive and defensive game sometimes. And fractures are coming in again. The shotgun is nice, but well, there's nothing uh, there's nothing left in the tank for him to follow up with those fights. I mean, his his aim is pretty damn good. He's using 39% LG. Yeah. Yeah. His aim is completely fine. So I guess less clan arena more duel. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing, in you really want to start practicing your defensive game, because that's the thing you're going to need first. You're going to need not to be practicing, and only then you should be thinking about starting to play aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. And I might be able to catch him off guard over here. See, that's the move, the, the predictable moves that could happen. If a fractures went up there, it would have been a, a nice read from Davis, but... Now he plays a bit slow in the corridors, but where is he going to find it? Is he going to go for another shotgun trap? Is he just grabbing the first weapon to hand and looking to do what kind of damage is possible? Is again, coming back into the center map. He may, it may be a chance, it may have been better in that instance just to keep on running to that doorway he was on his way to in the first place. Unless he was on, the way to, on his way to rockets, in which case he can't go to rockets at that point. He can't emphasize that enough. Now, Lost World's a pretty tough map to play, really. If you can if you can play a solid Lost World, then you are really a certified duo. Yeah, but it's also the hardest map to play for such good players, because they will have the position, and that position is a very big barrier to players that are trying to be good. Yeah. That's what they need to focus on, the position and the weapons. The weapons are ever so important. And Davis, I mean, what can we say about Davis, really? Is there, is there much? I mean, when you're going against someone who uh, uh, is half yeah, your level, really, I'm seeing a little bit of lag from him. It's, it's difficult, really, to tell Dallas, okay, this is what you should or should be doing, apart from possibly what getting a new morning. ISP. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be the first step to play online. And again, Fractured comes out onto the rocket, and this is a tut tut, it's a big no no. When you're out of control, don't go there. And if you are half in control, at least have a weapon where you can uh, contend. Exactly, you can't just go there with a the rocket launcher. Yeah, because you're probably not going to hit those long distance shots unless uh, you know, you can Although, see if you do hit there. them, send us a demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fracture just moving over the edge, coming down of Gauntlet. <laughs> well, approaching the end of the game, so evidently Davis taking this one pretty convincingly, but I hope that Fracture, if you look back at this mod, which it really should do. Take something away from it, and you're going to be able to improve your dual game and come back the following weeks playing even stronger. It's quite hard. I'm going to get the frag. Oh, oh, 
Oh, 11, 11 health. health. Devastating there. And there we are. He still seems happy, Larry, which is absolutely <laughs> ideal. But GG and Davis is going to be moving on to the next round here. Well played, Hugo. Yeah, well played, Davis. Hmm. Right, uh, fractured, yeah. Check out the videos. Um, I want to say, though, before that uh, we go to a correct... I, r I remember the first... Uh, First dual tournament I ever entered, it was in a UK Cup, mm -hmm. and the first player I went against was Visery, aka Hell, one of the top oh. UK players around yeah. at that point. And this is when I was possibly, you know, like Fractured right now, I played uh, way too much Clan Arena. I don't know if that's specifically true about him, but <laughs> it look, maybe it looks like it. And um, I came onto a duel playing on Blood, and I was like, oh my god, how is this guy getting around the map at a million miles an hour and shooting me from uh, different directions? You're trying to get onto items, but you're not really understanding why each decision you make is getting countered. You try to get to center, I was like, he keeps throwing me off it. Um, but um, don't get stressed that uh, you get beaten, because at the beginning, I kind of cut out duel for six plus months, because, oh my god, that, oh well. that loss was so depressing, I don't want to play anymore. That isn't but even Rager of the month, that is Rager of the year. <laughs> you I didn't you. swear or anything. I was, ju I just like. No, that's even better. Like the people who, s who don't say anything, upset. those are the worst. I those are the ones that don't say anything, and then they might appear on in your house at the at night <laughs> or something. Point taken. But before we go to the next game, guys, we're going to go on a quick break, and after that, we're going to have Effortless versus Apparition here on the North American Sunday Cup. We're going to see you in a moment.